Heard from Liv yet? No, not for a while. Do you reckon she'll call her? That girl is as tough as it gets. She'll be fine. Look, how's this for an idea? Why don't you not work on the head and go home and chill out? You mean take my mind off Liv? Yeah. Look, I'll, I'll pick up Seb after my meeting and then we can do something. Come on, you know what makes sense? Yeah, why not? I'll tell you what, I'll pick up Seb, yeah? Be a minute, mate, all right? Won't be a minute. Liv. Hiya. You all right? What about you? <coughs> hey? Well, she's your mum. So John to nag you. Well, listen, seriously, if you need to talk to anyone about anything, you know where I am, don't you? Liv, I'm going to have to... I'll call you back. Who the hell are you? Give him to me, I mean it. Whoa. Don't want any accidents now, would we, Aaron? How do you know my name? Research. Always do your research. So Jill Tate sent you, did he? Don't know what you're on about. Funny, really. I thought you'd remember me. You know, after taking all that time and trouble to spring me and your mate from the prison van. <laughs> so here's the thing. You're gonna do exactly what I say. Just give him to me, please. You're doing fine, aren't you? Uncle Sid's not going to work you, is he? Well, I say that. What are you even doing here? What do you want? This'll be the bit where he acts all innocent. Pretends he don't know what I'm on about. I don't. You got the wrong guy. I don't know anything about a prison break. Yeah, thought he'd say that. See, I knew I was just a byproduct. It was the Barton boy you lot were after. I asked around. Folk reckoned you and him were bezies. Once I knew you were related to Kane, it all fell into place. Two of you, in it together, were you? So what are you after, then, money? Finally! Not the sharpest tool in the box, are you? I'll be on the run for the rest of my life. It's not a cheap way to live. And I'm not a greedy man. So why don't we call it 100k? That suit you, all right? Please, just give him to me. Why not? It's starting to stink, if you know what I mean. You should take me seriously, mate. See, you know my family. The McFarlane's. Name ring a bell. Is that supposed to scare me? It should do. You were selling drugs for us, weren't you? Surprised we never met. How the hell do you expect me to find 100k? You're a dingle. You'll find a way. Cos if you don't, I'll put you and Kane in Aussie. And then when you both lead up, the cops will get an anonymous tip off letting them know who sprung me and Adam Barton. So I reckon your best bet's to get me the cash. Don't you? I don't get it. Oh, sorry it took so long. How's the little man been? Aaron? He's safe, he didn't hurt him. Well, who didn't? Aaron, what's up? Come on, you're scaring me. What, is it live? Has something happened? Aaron? Aaron, what's going on? I need to phone Kane. If it wasn't for us, he'd be inside. I can't go back to prison, Kane. Well, no one's going anywhere. Well, you think it's that simple? Think about it. There were no clues, no forensics. Our alibis stacked up. We'll find the first time it was investigated. We'll be fine now. Sid's desperate. He's just trying it on. Haven't you heard a word he's just said? That nut has said that he's going to grasp you and us up. He said he's going to put you both in hospital. He had my son, Kane. Anything could have happened. But it didn't, did it? It's not just him, though, it's his family. And he's desperate, Kane. He's not going to give up until he gets the money. Good. Because the next time he comes knocking, I'll be answering the door. <laughs>